Fish are the lifeblood of our oceans. They can be a lot of fun to catch and play with, but there are some fish you might want to avoid if you find yourself in water. If these 20 dangerous fish give you the willies, then maybe it's time to run back or not get wet at all. Let's dive into the ocean. Remember, this is scary and dangerous. Here are 20 dangerous fish you should stay away from. Number 20, stonefish. The stonefish has always been the most venomous fish on the planet. The fish can be found in the Indo-Pacific region on marine environments, stony or muddy bottoms. Stonefish use their spines defensively rather than offensively, so you won't have to worry about them attacking you. The back of the fish has 13 spines that deliver poison when pressed. Oh, I see it! I see it! It's a stonefish! It's a stonefish! Right there! The sting caused excruciating agony, edema, necrosis, tissue death, and even death. If you're in an area where stonefish might be present, make sure to avoid stepping on them. Beware because every year between 800 and 1,000 stonefish stings are reported in Australia alone. Stonefish are the leading cause of death for many individuals living around the Pacific and Indian Ocean's shores. When the animal is startled, it defends itself by raising its dorsal spines vertically. A human foot stomping down on the needle-sharp spines would put pressure on the venom sacs, releasing a constant spray of venom directly into the foot. The greatest risk with the fish is treading on one by accident, and these fish are nearly unnoticeable at low tide. Poisonous. Number 19. Lionfish It's scary here, so run. Catch your breath. While certain species of fish are gentle and do not hurt humans when they come in contact with them, this is not the case with lionfish. Lionfish have a stunning, one-of-a-kind appearance that can entice you to take a closer look. No wonder you feel like getting closer to it. If you come too close, though, you may be in for a nasty surprise. It's unbelievable! As they can inflict a sting, unlike any you have ever experienced. The venomous lionfish can be found in the Caribbean Sea, Gulf of Mexico, and the Atlantic Ocean. If you've never seen one before, you'll recognize them by their brown, red, or white stripes that cover their entire body. Tentacles and fan-like fins are also seen on the fish. The lionfish is a carnivorous fish, despite its attractive appearance. Its spine carries venom that it employs as a defense mechanism against other fish. The lionfish is a species unlike any other with its foot-long, venom-filled spines and stripe coloring. The venom contains a neuromuscular toxin with a toxicity similar to cobra venom. When a lionfish's spine penetrates the skin of predators or, in some cases, an unwary human, the venom is released. Remember, lionfish feeds on lots of aquatic habitats. Don't be a victim of this vampire. Number 18. Pufferfish Pufferfish, also known as toadfish and blowfish, is found in Australia in 57 species, with 48 of them located in Queensland. Tetrodotoxin, a toxin found in pufferfish, is one of the most lethal natural poisons. The toxin, which is present on the skin and internal organs of pufferfish, is 1,200 times more toxic than cyanide. A deadly dose of tetrodotoxin is about the size of a pinhead, and a single fish can kill up to 30 people. Although they have a cute appearance, pufferfish are the world's second most deadly vertebrate, after the golden poison frog. Internal organs such as the liver and eyes, as well as the skin, contain tetrodotoxin, a poison that gives them a bad odor and often kills fish. Pufferfish is regarded as a delicacy in Japan, specially educated chefs to prepare them in such a way that when guests consume them, their lips tingle or numb somewhat. If swallowed in big enough amounts, pufferfish, whether alive or dead, can be fatal to both humans and canines. It is not necessary to eat the fish. Simply chewing or licking it might cause serious poisoning. Tetrodotoxin has a very short half-life. Poisoning symptoms appear within minutes and paralysis sets in within a few hours. Pufferfish poisoning can be lethal in as little as an hour in extreme cases. Beware! Number 17. Bull Sharks the bull shark, Carcharhinus lucas, also known as the Zambezi shark, informally Zambi in Africa, and the Lake Nicaragua shark in Nicaragua, is a requiem shark that lives in shallow, warm waters near coasts and rivers around the world. Bull sharks are officially saltwater species that live in the ocean. They have unique kidneys that can detect and adjust to changes in salinity in the surrounding water. You don't want to swim with one of them in the river. Right, it got teeth! 
and that one there has an enormous... They can grow to be 3.3 meters, 11 feet long, and sharks as large as 312 kilograms have been reported 690 pounds. Bull sharks have triangle teeth, which makes them excellent cutters. Bull sharks are one of the most dangerous sharks in the world because they mistake humans for fish and attack without realizing it. They aren't particularly large sharks, but they will eat anything. They have multiple rows of sharp, triangular teeth and enormously powerful jaws. With a biting force of 589 kilograms, like many sharks, 1,300 pounds. They are also partial to a little human flesh, being one of the most common assaults on humans, along with tiger sharks and great whites. This, combined with their proclivity for residing in densely populated regions, has caused several experts to label them the world's most hazardous sharks. Can we just call it a serial killer? Number 16. Kandiru Kandiru, also known as Kaero, toothpick fish or vampire fish, is a freshwater catfish native to the Amazon basin that belongs to the Trichomysteridae family. Ecuador, Bolivia, Colombia, Brazil, and Peru are among the nations where it can be found. Candirus is a small type of fish. Vandalia members can grow up to 17 centimeters, 7 inches, in standard length, but some can reach 40 centimeters, 16 inches. Each has a small head and a swollen belly, especially after consuming a considerable amount of blood. Oh my goodness, look at that! Oh, that is great! The body is translucent, making it difficult to see in its natural habitat's murky waters. Small sensory barbells surround the head, and the gill coverings have short, backward-pointing spines. Despite the terrifying legends surrounding this fish, there is some disagreement as to whether it actually attacks humans. The first known incidents of a candiro being removed from a human urethra didn't happen until 1997, and even that incident has sparked debate. In the medical literature, there is just a small amount of credible evidence that this is happening. It's better to be safe than sorry. An attack on the urethra could lead to death. Stay safe! Number 15. Moray Eels Moray eels are thought to number in the hundreds, and they can be found in all tropical and subtropical oceans, where they reside in shallow water among reefs and rocks, hiding in cracks. Moray eels are distinguished from other eels by their small, circular gill holes and lack of pectoral fins. Their skin is thick, smooth, and scaleless, and their mouths are large, with strong, sharp teeth that allow them to grip and hold their prey, often other fish as well as inflict devastating damage on their opponents, including people. They are only likely to attack humans when they are disturbed, and when they do, they can be rather nasty. Mores, like the alien from Alien, 1979, attack its prey with a hidden set of chompers. A pair of hidden pharyngeal jaws assist the eel in trapping its prey inside the gullet. Rather than using suction to drag prey down their throats like most predatory fish, mores adopt a two-step method. The object is first securely grasped by the outer jaws. Their pharyngeal set then leaps forward, bites the hapless victim, and pulls it down into the throat. I think it's better we call moray eels the tiger. Number 14. The White Shark the white shark, often known as the great white shark or white pointer, is one of the most powerful and potentially lethal predatory sharks in the world. The white shark, who has starred as the villain in films such as Jaws 1975, is widely reviled and feared. Nonetheless, little is known about its life and behavior. The present species has been around since around 18 to 12 million years ago during the middle of the Miocene epoch, but its progenitors may date back to the Eocene epoch. About 56 to 34 million years ago, according to the fossil record, white sharks are responsible for numerous unprovoked and sometimes fatal attacks on swimmers, divers, surfers, kayakers, and even small boats in the locations where they are most abundant. A white shark will usually bite its human prey once and then retreat. The shark, on the other hand, rarely returns for a second bite in most cases. If the bite is only moderate, the victim may have enough time to flee. However, in cases where a significant bite occurs, the victim may die as a result of serious tissue and organ damage. Deadly. Number 13. Tigerfish Hydrocinus goliath is the scientific name for the goliath tigerfish, and it is derived from the terms hydro, water, and kion, dog. The tigerfish is an African endemic species. They have a ferocious demeanor and even more ferocious reputation. They eat at the fisherman who tries to catch them, and they are surrounded by dark legends. The tigerfish is one of the most terrifying creatures I've ever encountered. Their teeth are daggers. They have the ability to grow to the size of a little human. With a single bite, they may split their victim in half. Because the goliath tigerfish's eyes are all pupil, 
it appears that it is continually vigilant and ready to attack. The dorsal fin is upright, giving it a shark-like appearance. Below the belly are three tiny fins. You'd expect a fish named Goliath to be enormous, and you'd be correct. When fully grown, the Goliath tigerfish can reach a length of 4 to 5 feet. Several different species of African fish are known as tigerfish. Because they're all nasty, sharp-toothed beasts, the label ferocious seems appropriate. Number 12. Piranhas Piranhas haven't always had the best of reputations. Consider the 1978 cult classic Piranha in which a group of piranhas escapes a botched military experiment and feast on innocent lake swimmers. Or the 2010 remake in which prehistoric piranhas in 3D detail devour humans. Piranhas do have keen teeth, and many of them eat meat. However, piranhas have a wide range of diets, which is one of the reasons why they've been difficult to categorize taxonomically. Piranhas bite with a lot of force, even if they aren't as dangerous as they appear in fiction. Researchers discovered that black or red-eye piranhas, Sarelsomus rhombus, the largest of modern species, in a 2012 study published in Scientific Reports. Using a tooth fossil model, scientists discovered that Mega Piranha Parogenesis, Piranha's 10 million year old extinct ancestor, had a jaw tip bite force of 1,068 pounds, the force that the jaw muscles can exert via the very tip of its jaw. The teeth of a piranha are quite sharp, however they can be replaced. The razor-sharp fangs and fierce bite of piranhas are well known. In the Brazilian language tub, the word piranha literally means toothfish. True piranhas have tricuspid teeth, with a larger central cuspid or crown. Measuring about 4 millimeters in height, we can call it Little Demon. Number 11. Box Jellyfish The box jellyfish may not appear to be harmful, but it could be enough to send you to Davy Jones's locker, a watery burial, that is. The tentacles of box jellyfish have been coated in biological booby traps called nematocysts, which are microscopic darts filled with poison. People and animals who are bitten and receive this venom may endure paralysis, cardiac arrest, and even death within minutes of being stung. Box jellyfish can be found in warm coastal waters all over the world, but the fatal types are only found in the Indo-Pacific and Northern Australia. This includes the most venomous marine species, the Australian box jellyfish, Cryonyx flecari. Cryonyx flecari is the largest of box jellyfish, with a body diameter of up to one foot and thick, boot-lace-like tentacles reaching up to 10 feet. On each side of the box, there are clusters of eyes, with a lens and cornea, an iris that can constrict in strong light, and a retina. Some of these eyes are astonishingly smart. Some experts believe that box jellyfish actively seek their prey, primarily shrimp and small fish, due to their speed and vision. Jellyfish are real hunters. 10. Paku Paku is a common name for numerous species of omnivorous freshwater cerasolmid fish from South America that are related to the piranha. The fundamental difference between paku and piranha teeth is jaw alignment. Piranha has pointed, razor-sharp teeth with a significant underbite, whereas paku has square, straighter teeth with a less severe underbite or a slight overbite. Paku eats mostly plant matter rather than flesh or scale. The bodies of paku fish are large and flat, having fins on their backs and bellies. They can grow to be many feet long and a hefty handful of weight. The most common colors for paku fish are silver, gray, black, and white. However, there are a few breeds with brighter colors, such as the red-bellied paku, Pyaractus brachypimus. They can also have distinctive markings, such as the black ear paku, Mylopla shamburki. The human-like teeth of all paku fish breeds are a common trait. It has two sets of blunt molars for cracking nuts and chewing up vegetation. Unlike certain fish species that have sharp, jagged fangs for slicing through their prey, when you peel aside the lips of a paku fish, you'll find a mouth that looks and works exactly like yours. Okay, this is an omnivorous fish. Number 9. Blue-Ringed Octopus At first appearance, the blue-ringed octopus appears to be completely harmless. Its kaleidoscopic colors and pint-sized packaging make it seem cute rather than scary. But don't be fooled by its cute appearance. Stay are from the serial killer. This small octopus is deadly and in a hurry to kill. Beware. The blue-ringed octopus is a Pacific native that lives on the soft, sandy bottoms of shallow tidal pools and coral reefs. Blue-ringed octopuses hide in crevices, shells, and marine doritos when they aren't looking for food or a mate. It's simple to understand how the animal got its moniker if you catch them outside their warm hiding spots. When threatened, vivid blue rings appear all over its body as a warning signal to possible predators. Although octopuses, along with cuttlefish and some squid, are venomous, the blue-ringed octopus stands out. Its poison is 1,000 times stronger than cyanide, 
and this golf ball sized monster has enough venom to kill 26 people in minutes. It's no wonder that it's considered one of the ocean's most hazardous creatures. Beware of its poisonous venom! Number 8. Portuguese Man of War the deadly Portuguese man of war is sometimes mistaken for a jellyfish by those unfamiliar with its biology. The Portuguese man of war is a siphonophore, a type of animal that consists of a colony of organisms that act together. Because of the purple blue color of their pneumatophores, men of war are also known as blue bottles. The man of war's second organism is its tentacles. These long, thin tendrils can reach a depth of 165 feet below the surface, while 30 feet is more common. They're encrusted with venom filled pneumatocysts. which are employed to paralyze and kill fish and any other tiny animals. A man of war sting is incredibly painful for humans, yet it is rarely fatal. However, even dead man of war washed ashore on the beach can sting. Prey is drawn up to a polyp carrying gastrozooids or digestive organisms by muscles and the tentacles, stinging pneumatocysts, microscopic capsules with coiled, barbed tubes that carry venom capable of paralyzing and killing small fish and crustaceans, are found in the tentacles. While the sting of the man of war is rarely fatal, it is painful and creates welds on exposed skin. Sting. Number 7. Electric Eel Electric eels are not eels despite their serpentine appearance. The fish are closely related to carp and catfish in terms of scientific classification. The tremendous electrical charge these well-known freshwater predators can create to stun prey and deter predators gives them their name. Electric organs with about 6,000 specialized cells called electrocytes that store electricity like little batteries are found in their bodies. They graze primarily on fish, but sometimes amphibians, birds, and small animals. In the murky streams and ponds of South America's Amazon and Orinoco basins, they must come to the surface frequently since they are air breathers. Electric eels grow up to over 8 feet long and weigh 44 pounds. They have long, cylindrical bodies with flattened heads that are dark green or grayish on top and yellowish underneath. Electric eel attacks on humans are relatively rare. Multiple shocks, on the other hand, can induce respiratory or cardiac collapse, and people have been known to drown in shallow water after receiving a powerful jolt. Shocker! Number 6. Wells Catfish Whales catfish are massive freshwater fish that can grow to be as long as 16 feet. These colossal creatures can be found in Europe's lakes and rivers and are easily identified by their broad, flat head and enormous jaws. Insects, fish, worms, rodents, birds, and frogs are all eaten by whales catfish. They have rows of small but razor-sharp teeth in their mouths, and there have been several accounts of this terrible fish attacking and killing people generally fishermen or unwitting swimmers. Attacks by numerous catfish that are the most affected animals are frequently reported in tabloids. In April 2009, a catfish allegedly assaulted an Austrian fisherman in one of the fishing lakes in Per, Hungary, near Gier. The man, though, is said to have managed to escape. A Romanian fisherman used his boat to cross the Danube in the middle of the river in order to take a bath. A catfish seized his legs while he was bathing, so he sank to the bottom of the pool. They discovered the body of a dead fisherman whose legs were still in the catfish's mouth a few days later. Be sure there isn't a soft killer in the ocean before you dive in. Number 5. Boxfish Boxfish are comparable to pufferfish, the next species on our list, but not as deadly. They can grow to be 10 to 24 inches long depending on the species and live on stony and coral reefs in the Indian, Pacific, and Atlantic oceans. Their honeycomb patterns on their skin and box-shaped bodies set them apart. Boxfish eat algae, worms, and small fish, and they have a formidable defense system to keep predators at bay. They emit ostracytotoxin, a toxin that is harmful to anything in the proximity, through their skin into the surrounding water. This is especially dangerous to humans because it destroys red blood cells. Furthermore, some boxfish can be fatal if eaten raw. They like a live rock because it allows them to feed algae, but they also adore tube worms. Because boxfish tend to devour coral, they aren't called reef compatible. But as long as they're properly fed, and they do eat a lot, they'll ignore the coral. In addition to having an open area to swim in, yellow boxfish prefer to have a spot to hide. It releases the neurotoxin tetrodotoxin TTX, through its skin when agitated or damaged, which can kill fish in nearby waterways. This fish is toxic. Number 4. Goonch Catfish 
The Goonch catfish, sometimes known as the giant catfish, is a large catfish found in hilly areas of India, Nepal, and other nearby countries. The river monster, also known as the big devil catfish, huge painted catfish, killing catfish, and sand shark, is a large, toothy fish that has been nicknamed for its immense size and violent habits. The fish's exact population in the wild is unknown. Because of its use in the fish trade, the huge fish has a great commercial value. The body of the fish is green, brown, or tan in color, with dark pigment bands and markings. The fish's ultra-sharp serrated teeth and robust broad jaw are, however, its most striking characteristic. The huge goonch can grow up to 79 inches in length on average, 200 centimeters. The blue catfish, on the other hand, is a little fish, measuring around 25 to 60 inches, 64 to 152 centimeters in length. This fish has a reputation for being a vicious predator. The goonch, which is commonly seen in India, is noted for its ferocity. The species' very huge specimens are capable of devouring the remains of human bodies or corpses. Because they are commonly found in the pet trade, the fish poses no life-threatening threat to humans. However, no definitive statements about its behavior toward people can be made. Scary Monster Number 3. Giant Freshwater Stingray the world's largest freshwater fish is thought to be the enormous freshwater stingray. These rays may grow up to 16.5 feet long and can be found in Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, and Cambodia. Stingrays aren't usually aggressive towards humans, but the barb on the end of their tail can be dangerous. If a person is mistakenly pierced by the barb, not only does it contain toxins, but the puncture alone is enough to cause severe pain and even death especially in the case of this huge freshwater stingray. These ancient fish may grow to be 16 and a half feet long, including the tail, and haven't changed much over millions of years. There have been stories of large stingrays weighing up to 1,300 pounds, but such claims are impossible to verify because weighing the enormous and unwieldy animals is difficult. Giant stingrays are brown to gray in color, with large, flat bodies and long, whip-like tails. They have been observed prowling river systems in Thailand, Cambodia, Malaysia, and Indonesia, burying themselves in sandy or silty riverbeds. They inhale and exhale through spiracles on the tops of their heads. Stingrays use sensors around their mouth to sense the electrical field of their prey, which are generally clams and crabs. Stingrays are one of the few megafishes that can pose a significant threat to individuals who handle them, despite the fact that they do not often attack humans. Threatening. Number 2. Oceanic White Tip Shark Oceanic white tips have white-tipped fins and can be found in tropical oceans all around the world. White sharks and bull sharks have all been known to attack humans. The oceanic white tip is thought to have killed most individuals. This is due to the fact that they usually prey on survivors of shipwrecks and plane crashes. Oceanic white tip sharks are most known for their World War II attack on the survivors of a U.S. Navy ship. A Japanese submarine sank the USS Indianapolis on July 30, 1945. While waiting for assistance, around 890 crew members were stranded in the ocean for four days. Only 316 people made it out alive. According to witness reports, the oceanic white tip shark attack killed almost 150 individuals, making it the deadliest shark attack in history. When the RMS Nova Scotia sank in 1942, oceanic white-tipped sharks were also blamed for a huge number of deaths. They've been known to assault survivors of shipwrecks and plane crashes at sea, and they're suspected of being responsible for a number of unrecorded human deaths. Divers should be aware of this shark due to its opportunistic eating style, size, and unpredictability. There have been documented examples of possible attacks being stopped by divers striking sharks on the snout to dissuade curiosity. Nasty Beast Number 1. Payara – Vampirefish there are a number of dark, frightening creatures below the water surface. Some of them are unattractive but harmless creatures who do not deserve their bad rep. Some of them are vampire fish who are well deserving of their moniker. The payara is one of the most bizarre fish found in South America. It not only has a mysterious reputation due to a paucity of research on the species, but it also has an unforgettable appearance with two enormous fangs. This dogfish tetra may grow up to 4 feet long and is a member of the dogfish tetra family. 
While piranhas are known as the Amazon's most ferocious and predatory fish, the payara is much more so, turning piranhas into a meal. The lower jaw of this fish contains two strong fangs that it uses to impale other fish. The bottom teeth of huge payaras are long enough to penetrate completely through a human hand or foot. With these toothy tetras around, you don't want to be in the water. It prefers water that is clear, fast-moving, and has a lot of currents. The killer is commonly seen in churning rivers and at the base of waterfalls. Fishes can be a beautiful addition to your aquarium or lake, but many varieties can be dangerous to the people that swim near them. I hope you now know which fish are threatening and how you can stay safe from them. Before you choose to enter any river, lake, or ocean, be sure that it's safe to do so. Some types of fish can carry diseases and parasites, meaning that they may cause harm or even death to you. Also, a fish tank can pose threats to you or your family. Before your next dive, ask yourself, how well do you know these dangerous fishes? Remember to stay safe always. See you next time!